Now, technically, FL Studio does not support the MPE protocol, but there are per note expression capabilities that were always available in this DAW. Let me show you a few of these. Let's start off with per note pitch bend. Now, I have two chords over here. I'd like to glide from this chord to this chord. Specifically, I want each note to glide up or glide down. For this, we can double click individual notes and activate the slide note feature. We need to do this individually for each note. All right, next I need to set each voice to a different MIDI channel so the pitch bend will not interfere with other notes. If I double click the note again, we have this color or MIDI channel option. I'm gonna leave this one at one. So let's leave these two notes at channel one and let's change these two notes to let's say channel five. So now that's in a different channel compared to the first voice. Let's do the same for these two notes. Let's set this to channel nine and this one also to channel nine. And then lastly, let's set this one to channel 13 and this one also to channel 13. All right, so I'm gonna extend this first chord and I'm gonna take these slide notes, I'm gonna shorten them because these just define how long you want the glide to occur for. So we're gonna glide in from this chord to the new chord within this time length. Let's hear it. Let's make this chord even longer so the second chord sustains a bit more. And there you go, so that's per note pitch bend in FL Studio. Another feature we get in the MP protocol is per note slide, which usually translates to some kind of filter cutoff control. So let's see how we can do that here in FL Studio. So I'm gonna create a pattern here with a note repeating. I'll use this paint tool to paint in a few notes. And I'm also gonna have some longer notes. Something like that. Let's have a listen to this. So I'd like the filter cutoff for all the notes on C3 here to be changed over time. So I'm gonna select all these notes. And if I double click, you will see there's mod X and mod Y control. Mod X is the filter cutoff and mod Y is the resonance. This is just a nomenclature used by image line for filter cutoff and resonance. So if I wanna adjust the filter cutoff, I can adjust this mod X parameter. But now this is affecting everything at the same time. So that's not a per note control. So what I can do is in the control section over here, I can choose note filter cutoff frequency. And over here we can see this is the filter cutoff parameter. And I can just change that over here. said we're not affecting these upper voices though I can select those upper voices and I can also change its filter cutoff. And we don't just have to stop over there. If I click on control over here we have note pan which is also pretty unique so I can adjust the panning for individual notes like this. Let me select the C3 over here and let's pan these notes. So as you can see, you get a lot more per note control here in FL Studio, almost beyond what is capable in the MPE protocol. 
Alright, so I hope you found that helpful. Now, if you are new to FL Studio and would like to learn the DAW in a methodical way, I would suggest checking out my 12-week course on Berkeley Online, where I go over all the fundamentals of making music with FL Studio. We cover a wide range of topics from MIDI sequencing, audio recording, mixing and mastering, sound and even video synthesis. I put a link to the course in the video description, so have a look at that and I'll see you in the next one.